Welcome to our Saturday brunch. Glad you're here. Give yourself a hand. Well, don't, if you're, don't spill your food, but I'll give you a hand for being here. Way to go. Welcome all 80 million Facebook listeners. The reason why I say that is because 80% of the world has chronic fatigue syndrome, adrenal fatigue. Therefore, this will help you today. So I'm glad you're here. So welcome. This is our brunch. We have fabulous recipes. You've tried, you're actually eating food right now. Way to go. So if your belly is happy and your brain is happy and everybody's happy, then that's because you're eating food. And I, I want to get to that about how important food is and how complicated we've, we have made food to be. But, and this is kind of, there's no PowerPoint. We are recording. This is kind of my unplugged acoustic version, if you would, okay? But I really want to get into the nitty gritty day to day thing called life. I mean, it's not hard. I just didn't think I make it hard. I get moving so fast in life that I just start doing things not based on what's best, but just what's convenient. And, and that doesn't always have a good outcome or good return on that. So my first question for you and those of you watching is, why are you here? I mean, I know you're here for the watermelon cake and all the other goodies and stuff like that. But you could have been doing anything today. You could have been cutting your grass or pulling weeds. You could have been any, but you're here for some reason. And I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's for me to encourage you. But I don't think you're going to hear anything like, oh, I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? But I really want you in your heart of hearts, in your mind of mind, take a deep breath in and just slow down and breathe, let it out. Just stop for a second. Let's call a time out just for a second. Just for a second. Some of you haven't stopped in 20 years, okay? And it's tricky. It's tricky. It's very tricky. So I don't know why you're here. My goal, though, is before we leave here about 2.30 now today, <laughs> is that I have... You, you, you leave here feeling better. You live here feeling loved. You live here feeling, leave here feeling encouraged. And you remember who you are. This whole year we've been talking about how you're not just a physical piece of meat. You're not just a body. There's a spirit inside you. There's an emotional component to you. And there's a physical component to you. And food is not just for physical, it's not like gasoline in your car. It's not just, it's, it, there's a fueling purpose to it but also I'm realizing and I'm, re I'm reading and I'm understanding right now that there's also an emotional component to your food. There's also a spiritual component. Some countries, that's not so much America, but eating a meal is like a whole spiritual, you know, we just say rub-a-dub-dub, thank God for the grub, and we go, right? Okay? We prayed, right? But the reality of it is, is that your life is holistic. Your life is 365. Your life is 360 degrees, but every day of the year. So... I've got so much I just want to pour into you, but I want to remind you, first of all, A, why are you here, and how, who are you? Who are you? Well, you're a spirit, you're an emotion, and you're a body. And so, really, when it comes to making food choices and setting your day up, that's why we do the little Facebook videos. I try to encourage you, I try to give you something to remind you of who you are, because every action is linked to a belief. And every belief is anchored to a thought. And so if I can help you think better about yourself and believe better about yourself, then it's much easier to get you to act and create habits that are life-giving versus sabotaging and life-taking. See, I, I, I listen more, believe it or not, I listen more than I talk. I listen to you. Your words describe what's going on inside you. I listen to you for 30 seconds and I know whether you're having a good day or a bad day. I know I can see how you see the world. And I hear your actions and what you're frustrated with. I'm like, well, we got to get back to changing the thinking first, change the speaking first, quit speaking that into our lives or seeing, those, seeing the world this way and let's see it different. And so... At 51 years old, I realize I don't know everything. Finally. 
I'm aware of things that are true that I can't see yet, that I don't understand. But the first step in realizing, uh, the first step in healing is realizing there's a problem, there's an issue, there's something going on, I can't see it, and I realize I can't see it, and that's the first part of understanding. Does that make sense? The, the, the first step of healing is understanding I don't know everything, and there may be somebody out there that does know something, even though I can't see it. So we talked about this in past workshops, right? This is my coffee mug, right? I see a yellow cab. And you're like, you're crazy, Dr. Joe. There's no yellow cab there. I'm like, I'm looking right at it. Can't you see it? So you're either going to have to trust me, trust issues, that's a whole other workshop, and believe that there's a yellow cab there, and let me lead you until you can see that there actually is a yellow cab there. Or you can argue with me for the next five or ten years, tell me how wrong I am and how you're right and there's no yellow cab and you have friends that tell you there's no yellow cab and your doctors told you there's no yellow cab, therefore there must be no yellow cab. Well, but that decision is not working very well in your life because you keep going the wrong direction you want to go. So if I wanted to climb Mount Everest, could I do it myself? Maybe. Would it be hard if I chose to go it alone? Yes. Now, what if I hired a Sherpa that's done it a thousand times? Would that be a smart move? Yeah. And then if I just listen to him and follow him and he has experience, what's my, how, what are my chances of now making it to, to, to the top? Or at least a whole lot better than <laughs> if, if I try to do it myself, right? So again, why are you here? What do you need? Will you allow me to lead you in some ways of doctoring to help you? Really, I really want you to have a better life. But there's times I will see a yellow cab and you may not. So trust me, I will help you. There's times you may see a yellow cab and I don't. And I need to listen to you and see, okay, what, is, what do they see that I don't see? And what do I see that they don't see? And how can we work together to help pull this thing called life off? Does that make any sense? Makes sense up here. Okay? So with that, I have a story for you. There was once a little girl who went to the river to draw water. Coming to the river, she saw a spider. This is not Mrs. Arve. She saw a spider in the tide pool, drowning. So she set down her wooden bucket, dipped her hand into the water, and gently lifted the spider from certain death. But the spider, being a spider, bit her hand, causing her great pain. She set the spider down, drew her water, and went home singing. La 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 la. When she returned to the river with her bucket the next day, she saw the same spider again drowning. Once again, she dipped her hand into the water and gently lifted the spider to safety. Once again, the spider, being a spider, bit her. The next day, coming to draw water, she saw the same spider drowning yet again. Okay, that spider needs some swimming lessons, right? So she dipped her hands into the water once again, lifting the spider to safety, but this time, the spider spoke to her. Why do you save me, knowing I'm a spider who is poisonous, and this is what I do, it asked. She set it down and smiled, because I am a daughter of my father, who is love, and this is what I do. This is what I do. So I ask you, who are you? Are you a dancer, a writer, a mother, a businessman, a truck driver, a teenager, a Christian? Nope. Those are only roles you play. What you are is the daughter or the son of the Father, Papa God. Seeing that, now do whatever you do as a daughter or son. Until you embrace your true identity, you will always struggle in vain to be who you think you should be and do what you think you should do. Food is our emotional drug. We eat when we shouldn't eat. We eat what we should not eat at times to help us control our mood. We don't eat to try to starve ourselves, to try to achieve a certain goal. So we use food as our tool. And what I want you to understand is your identity is not in the food you eat or don't eat. Okay? Let me just read the rest of this. When you do see who you are, 
you'll also see others in that same light, and you'll be, you will give yourself for them. Then you will spend your life loving the world as a son or daughter of the Father. Then you will love the outcasts on dark streets. Then you will gaze with wonder at the one who serves you in the restaurant and look with compassion at the politician who stings you or the brother who calls you a, a sinner or a bad name. Seeing this kind of love, the world will know that God has sent you by the Father, his, you were sent by the Father who loves all the way he loves you. God is love and so are you. Now be who you are. So my whole point is that all your, all our, my, all our hurts and hang-ups and issues are because we forget just who we are. Yes, the world is full of spiders, but that's not your problem. You're just to be the son and daughter who's called you to be love, in spite of all that stuff. And he promises to take care of you and protect you if you'll simply just be who he called you to be. Okay? Now... What I just read to you will take, sometimes take me 20, 30 years simply to understand and get it. But I want to start sowing these seeds into you because it's all part of your healing. It's all part about your healing. Okay? It's all part of your healing. So, let's get started. Everybody pull out their green grass, brown grass zone sheets. Okay? Because again, why are you here? Right now, on a scale of positive 10 being the very best and negative 10 being the very worst, where are you? Last month, were you a negative 5? You're like, hey, I'm a negative 3 right now. I'm going the right direction. Last month, were you a 1 and now you're a 2 or a 3? Good. You're going the right direction. But I created this sheet on purpose. And again, there's 20, 30 years of layers of the onion that are in this sheet here. So if you've heard this before, listen with new ears now that you're realizing who you are. Where's your life at? Do you like where your life is at? Are you happy with where you're at? Are you okay with where you are, but you realize there's more room to grow? There's no wrong answer. Just you can't stay where you're at. And by doing nothing, by default, you'll keep going the wrong direction. If you don't plan out your life and take responsibility for it, somebody else will, and you may not like the results. Okay? So everything we talk about today, your mind, who you are, seeing who you are, seeing how much you're loved and appreciated, if you embrace that, that will move you in a positive green grass direction. If you keep thinking and believing what everybody else has said about you for years, and your words describe yourself, not, you know, if your best friend talked about you the way you talk about yourself, would they be your friend? Okay? Because that will move you towards the brown grass zone. So your thoughts and your words and your actions, believing good about yourself, regardless of what it looks like, is so important. Then your nervous system, your brain made you in the womb. Your brain created you. Your brain has all the healing medicine you'll ever need while you're on this earth. <coughs> the problem is it can't deliver it, right? If, if I let the air out of your truck tires, how well will you be able to deliver the oxygen to the people? You can't, right? So I'm interfering with your truck, which is your delivery system. Therefore, the people can't get what they need. Well, your brain, you're not lacking in anything. The brain just can't get it there because your spine is bent out of position. So by doing your home exercises and by getting your adjustments, you're releasing all the anti-inflammatory medicine, all the anti-cancer medicine, all the anti-Alzheimer's medicine, all the anti-inflammatory, the digestion, everything you need to be strong and healthy green grass zone is up here. It just can't get there because of we're blocking it. Okay? Then once you establish that, now your exercise, your food, your detox all comes into play. And it's all designed to move your body to this green grass zone. That's what it's all about. That's why I do workshops on food. Right? But if it was only food, why are there people who eat organic still living in the brown grass, dead grass zone? So it's not just food. Why are there people who run marathons, like multiple ones every year, still living in a brown grass, dead grass zone if it was just exercise? It's not. There's five essentials. The first one is I have to think I'm a champion. I have to believe who, who God says I am. And I can do what he says I can do. And he's a good father. 
And he doesn't, it's, this is not religion. This is simply knowing where you were creating, where you came from. In a healthy, life-giving way. Then, then the other thing is that my nerve system is key. Ask anybody who breaks their neck. From the neck down, they're what? That's how important your nerve system is. But your brain is the delivery system of everything you need to heal, to lose weight, to be happy, to be strong, to have babies, to not have babies. It's all there. And then food can be life-giving, life-taking. Lack of exercise can be life-giving, life-taking. And if we keep putting poisons in our body, that can sabotage the process as well. And that's what we're up to doing here. Okay? So that's why this sheet is so important. Right? Now, let's talk about the remaining time for some food, right? So let's start with breakfast, right? What do we do when we get up? We go to breakfast and we want to get some, maybe some shredded wheat, right? And then we're going to have some horizon milk, right? And then we're going to have some, or maybe some soy milk. Or maybe we're going to choke down uh, some Gatorade, okay? Or maybe you, uh, if you're, you know, we have some Ensure, right? Your grandmother has some Ensure. Or we may just have some green tea, okay? Or if you live in Georgia, hey, Coke in the morning. There's radio commercials, Coke in the morning, right? Well, Dr. Joe, you don't understand. I'm on a diet, so I'm going to have Diet Coke in the morning, okay? Or I'm going to have some naked juice, okay? And if I have tea or coffee, I'm going to sweeten it with stevia in the raw because that's what the box says. It must be good, right? Okay? Um, and or I may have some peanut butter, Jif, omega-3, creamy peanut butter, seven grams of protein, and omega-3 DHA EPA. So I may have some of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or I'm going to have some Jif, reduced fat, 25% less trans, uh, less fat than peanut butter. Okay. So I'm going to have some of that. Now, oh, wait, wait, wait. I kind of got a cold, Dr. Joe. I'm kind of feeling sniffy, my child. So I'm going to give him some Sunny D, orange. 100% vitamin C. 110 calories per bottle. Got a really cool looking orange on the, on the wrapper there, okay? So, here's the problem. What is this? Apple. apple. Organic apple. So this apple was made the way God has intended to eat to, for it to be. It's food. My body is made by God. Therefore, I have to put food made the way God designed it. In this apple is a, I don't know what the best word to call it. There's a system in here. Now, in an apple, is there vitamin C? I think so. Is there fiber? Yes. Is there things that are good for me in here? So man looked at the apple and said, well, why eat the apple? We can pull nutrients out of it and make it better and put it in a pill form or add it to other forms to make it better. So then you now you have an apple, you're literally made by man. Now can you fool God? So when I eat this apple made by God in my body, will it have a positive effect on me? Yes. If I eat this apple made by man, will it have a positive effect on me? Stop for a second. People don't realize that there's a difference between something of an apple made by man, a God, and an apple made by man. They think, it's just food, doesn't matter. But the reality is, is that consciously you may not know when you put this in your body, your body doesn't know what to do with it. And it has a negative impact. So your ability to lose weight, be healthy, fight off disease, get to the green grass zone is sabotaged when you eat this genetically modified food. It's not food. It's a genetically modified chemical exper ex uh, experiment that looks like an apple, smells like an apple, may taste like an apple, but when you put it into a body made by God, the body says, this ain't an apple. The brain says, what is this? It's this not an apple. Now, if I take an organic apple and I put it in my body, my brain says, oh, an apple. And then it gets to my digestive system and the brain says, okay, you go there, you go there, you go here, you go there, and now I get health and healing from it. Does that make sense? If you don't understand that part so far, you won't get anything else. And that's why you're confused. You think, well, it's food. Who cares? Just put it in, right? 
The thing is, there's a positive charge of this that has a positive effect. When it's not food, or it's been overcooked, overprocessed, and it's not food, you put it in your body, it has a negative effect. And what that means to you is, it can make you grumpy, it can make you emotional, it can make you gain weight, it can make you not burn fat, it can sabotage the very thing that you're trying to do, okay? That's why food matters. You have to get food in your body. So for breakfast, understand that none of this is food. It's a chemical experiment made to look and taste like something you can put in your mouth, but yet when you put it in your body, your, body, your brain goes, I have no clue what this is. So, and what makes me upset is that they're selling this simple, organic, unsweetened soy milk. When you put soy milk in your body that's been overprocessed, it has an attack on your estrogen levels, your, estro your phenols, and it increases your estrogen levels. Why would they sell it? Because you'll buy it. And they'll put a fancy wrapper on it. But again, the majority of people, when you put this in their body, it has a brown grass effect, not a green grass effect. Just because they sell it in the health food section doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy for you. Okay? Another example is organic milk with vitamin D added. You would think, well, that should be a good thing. Why do you need add, to add vitamin D to cow milk? You don't need to. Vitamin D comes from the sun. But we'll think if it has vitamin D added into it, which is man-made, they, they, synth they synthesize it, they made man-made, they added to something thinking, oh, we can make it better. No, they're not. So this is not going to have a green grass effect on your body. Buyer beware, because you'll buy it with the more things they put on it, eight protein, vitamin D, it's all, psycho it's all psychological. You think you're getting a better, you're going to get healthy by buying this. So your intentions are good. You, you just, they're just, they're lying to you. And it's, there's a trillion dollar industry set up, you know. So what I tell people, we talk about how medication, blah, 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 big pharma, bad system, right? When it comes to nutrition, they learned from that system and now they're stacking the deck when it comes to nutrition. So, again, I feel it's my job to help eradicate or make it much more simple so that why? You can be healthy. Is this making sense? Is this good so far? Making sense? Okay. So, and again, are you a bad person if you had this in your kitchen? <laughs> no. No. If you don't throw it away, you're a bad person. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so, so this, this is my latest pet peeve. Jif, omega-3, creamy peanut butter, 7 grams of protein, right? So you'd think, peanut butter. Peanut butter, made from roasted peanuts. And sugar, don't need that there. Containing 2% or less of molasses, fully hydrogenated vegetable oil, rapeseed oils, and soybean oil. Mono and diglyceride salt, anchovy and sardine oil. <laughs> Tilapia gelatin, tocopherols, and citric acid antioxidants. Is this food? No. Did they add nutrients to it? Yeah. But does your body recognize the nutrients? No, but if you just read this, you're like, cool. Right? I mean, seriously. You've got to read the ingredients. If you cannot pronounce what's in it, it's not food. Therefore, it's going to have a brown grass. It's going to make you grumpy and fat. How about that? Let's just get right to the case, right? Okay. Call like I see him, right? Okay. Bite-sized shredded wheat. 100% whole grain wheat cereal. About nine servings. Crow, you know, no high fructose corn syrup. But when you read the ingredients, whole grain wheat, BHT added to packaging material to help preserve freshness. What's BHT? Cancer-causing preservative. Just a little bit, though, Dr. Joe. Come on. Well, how about if I made my Dr. Joe dog poop brownies again, right? <laughs> Just a little bit in there. Won't taste it. Won't notice it. But who wants some? Not me, right? Okay. 
sports drink, right? If I just down this, then I can go run faster. Well, if I down this, you might have a seizure because it's got red dye 40. It's got neurotoxic ingredients in it, right? So it's going to have a negative, it may have a short-term effect on giving you energy, but you're going to crash and burn. And it's high as sugar. This does not have a positive effect on your body. And sure, this is just a chemist, chemical experiment that tastes like vanilla. It's not, you're better off drinking, you're better off not drinking this because the ingredients. This is not, has nothing, it's orange color. That's all it really is. It's not orange juice, okay? There's high fructose corn syrup in this. Again, that's a chemical made by man. When you put it in your body made by God, you're going to get brown grass, sickness, disease, emotional stress, and you're going to gain weight. But you think this is what? Healthy. And that's why America keeps getting worse and worse and worse health-wise, and yet we have more and more health food stores. All the stores are trying to try to appear to be healthy, and it's not. It's the same old story, okay? Same old story. Coca-Cola, you get addicted to the ingredients that are in the Coca-Cola and the Diet Coke. You want to gain weight? Drink Diet Coke. You want to get Alzheimer's or multiple sclerosis or you want to get um, blinding migraines? Keep drinking your Diet Coke. Well, I just can't quit. I know you can't because you're hooked on it. It has artificial sweeteners, the aspartame, the NutraSweet, that's a neurotoxin to your brain and it makes you addicted to the food. There's an evilness behind this whole food thing that you got to understand, okay? Oh, but what about Dr. Joe, naked, boosted green machine, 100%, no sugar added. They don't have to. This is why I'm not a big fan of juicing for a long period of time because it's full of sugar. Sugar creates brown grass zone. Sugar creates inflammation. Sugar can, I drink this, I'm crashing for a nap in 30 minutes. And again, what you don't understand, okay, this has 28 grams of sugar per serving. There's four servings in here. Now, who's just going to drink one serving of this? Not me. This is my breakfast. So for breakfast, I have over 105, 110 grams of sugar. That's like four days worth of sugar that my body really needs. You're only really getting about 20, 30 grams of sugar per day. Okay? So now I have this for breakfast. I'm good for four days of my total sugar content. That's why this is not your friend, right? Again, reduce fat, same thing. This is a chemical experiment that tastes like peanuts. You can spread it, it's creamy, it won't ball up on you, yet it's not food, okay? And stevia in the raw, I mean, five, save five bucks. Hey, why not? Zero calorie sweetener. First ingredient, dextrose. Sugar, chemically made sugar. But yet, stevie and raw, well, how can they do that? Because they changed the rules, and only if it has just a little bit of dog poop in it, I don't have to tell you. If it has a lot of dog poop in it, then I have to tell you. But if it only has a little bit of dog poop in it, I don't have to tell you. But look at all these, these things that are mentioned to you to have for breakfast. And can you see that by 10 o'clock, you've already shot your plans, and you can't understand why you can't get healthy, you can't lose weight, you can't feel good about yourself. Because all of this food will sabotage who you believe and think you are. You do your Bible study, you get in the morning, I'm a champion. You have, you have one piece of toast with this, and you go, I'm a piece of dirt. I feel bad about myself. It, it changes this here. And then you live that out throughout the day. Sunday school teachers, right? How are those kids coming in after they had their Fruity Pebbles for breakfast, right? Kindergarten, these kids come to school all hocked up, right? And, and full of sugar, and you want them to learn and be sharp and be ready to go? Not gonna happen. Not going to happen. So that's why for breakfast, we'd rather you see you do the berry smoothies, the chocolate smoothies, egg breakfast, eat eggs, eat food, have an omelet muffin, eat the pancakes. That's food. That's food, right? And have Dr. Joe coffee. Do you know what that is? Okay, I'm going to show you here. Okay, watch me. Now, I will confess, my name is Joe. My body likes fat, but too much of a good thing is not good for me. So you might have heard me two or three years ago saying, eat as much fat as you want. And I will tell you that still, because some of you are deficient in fat and you need fat. 
I had a guy yesterday, I said, you need a half a stick of butter a day. That's how, I mean, seriously, that's what his muscle testing showed. He was deficient. He wasn't enough fat. Fat goes to the brain. Fat goes to the sex hormones. Fat, fat goes to your skin, your hair, your nails. You need fat, good fat, right? So for breakfast, if you still love your coffee, right? This is what I make, or Mrs. Arve helps me make in the morning. Now, I do use Vias because it's just convenient. I hope Starbucks some days makes an organic Via right now, but it's not. If I had an organic coffee, and could make it, but it comes to time, right? So watch me make this. This is my Pyrex bowl. I put my coffee in, right? News flash. Dr. Joe, one of the top secret, Dr. Joe, this is collagen. The same company we get our turmeric from, there's a product called collagen, which is basically the bone broth without the taste. Okay, so I take a heaping tablespoon of this and I'll put it in there. Because right now, again, I go through seasons, I go through phases, I'm using this now. Okay, you can get it at draxe.com if you want some. I don't have any here, it's just what I'm using. You can put this in everything you drink, you won't taste it. It doesn't have a taste, it's just collagen. So if my lips start popping up like this, like Angelina's. <laughs> Okay, so you got that. Now, if you have a standard coffee cup, you're gonna wanna put approximately 500 milliliters of water. It's the only way is I use the metric system. Sorry, Scott, just not getting in there. Okay, now because I have been doing this for a very long time, you do not wanna put this in a blender. I still have coffee on my ceiling from that. <laughs> now, has anybody seen my Dr. Joe coffee video? How much coconut oil did I use last time? Oh, really? <laughs> Key word, last time. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Joe doesn't need that much fat. Now, this, I call this my anti-Alzheimer drink, okay? Your brain needs fat. My brain don't need this much fat anymore, okay? So I will take literally a nice teaspoon size now, okay? And Ms. was like, thank God, okay. So I put it in there, right? I put it in there. Now, this is coconut oil. This is unrefined, unprocessed, all in French, makes it cooler, organic virgin coconut oil. So in our house, this is what we cook with. This is our butter. This is what we make Dr. Joe ice cream with. I'll show you in a minute. And this is what I have my, my, my coffee with in the morning because life's too short. I may sometimes splash a little bit of heavy cream in there. Not today because I didn't bring any. So then, I, I, I'm not very well at talking and doing this, but I'll take this. This is inv invaluable. This works great. You won't blow anything up. So I stick it in here. Put my hand on it, just blend it up. Make it as frothy as you want. Mm-hmm. And you are good to go. I'll leave this out. And now, I will tell you, I sip on this on the way to the office and my tummy is full until 11 30 12 o'clock when it's time to when it's time to eat so okay so that's how we make that okay julie take this over anybody want to try some we'll, we'll make, just take a sip and pass around like doing communion <laughs> careful it might be hot on your hand there what no backwash <laughs> never so that's dr joe coffee now in that is coffee yay but also, there is um, fat, there's health, there's, it's, it's just, how do you kind of make it cool and still get, you know, you haven't changed anything. You guys are actually just passing around. Cool. Okay, take a sip, wipe it. May the Lord bless you and be with you. Okay, good. Um, you guys are love, I love this family. So that's Dr. Joe, so that's it. Now, you could call it Bulletproof Coffee. I don't put the ghee in it, the ghee in it which is like a uh, fancy butter, right? I don't need that much fat, so it's too much of a good thing, too much for me. Yeah, so I don't do that. But if you want something that's gonna stick with you, if you wanna do the ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting, all these fancy words you hear and stuff like that, have that for breakfast when you wake up. It will withhold your appetite. You got good fat, you got good 
uh, the collagen in it. I like that. And it's, it, you know, it needs a little heavy whipping cream in there. I get it. I know. But it won't kill you, though, and it's good for you, right? It's better than the cranberry market crappy hot shadow unicorn drink you've been getting down at Starbucks, okay? So that's breakfast, okay? That's breakfast. Now, another thing for breakfast, if you're in a hurry, is my baby food. Don't laugh at me, okay? I didn't get this as a child, so now, you know. Listen, this is under two bucks. How much are, how much are energy bars nowadays, power bars? You want to sip it? I mean, a buck? No, they're not. They're like three or four bucks. The power bars and stuff, the ones that are really say they're healthy but full of sugar. So when I get up in the morning, I'm going to go get a workout in. I'll grab the one that says muscle, if I can get muscle, or I'll grab the one that says bananas, beets, and blueberries. And again, if you can't get a kid to eat, find one they like. If you're like, I just, I need to eat something, I start getting the shakes, then here. These, you, we're going to go on a trip coming up. Buy a bunch of these, one you like, right? There's some yeah, I wouldn't touch anymore, you know. <laughs> but find one you like. This is an easy snack. And it's organic. It's food. It's already been chewed, but that's okay. <laughs> but again, this is just, again, some of you are like, I'll never do that. Fine, don't. But some of you are like, this was going to save my life. Because when it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you're ready to kill somebody or eat something, grab this, right? Or in the morning, the first thing you wake up, before you get, you know, down this. And you won't crash. This is still, still food. And this one here is, um, what is in here? Uh, lentils, plums, cinnamon, apple. Okay? Uh, bananas, beets, and blueberries. Now, the ones that say leeks and chicken and broccoli or peas, it's an acquired taste. That's like, that's like black belt stuff, right? But again, I think these are very affordable. Sometimes you get four for five bucks. You can't get, you know, it's just, you're on a budget. Snacks for the kids, right? It's, it's just, just, I like it. And again, this is where I'm at today. June 24th, 51 years old. I'm always trying to teach you guys different directions, right? Like the, like the Dr. Joe coffee is different than it used to be. You, you know, they call it bulletproof coffee. Um, it's a tr I just don't put as much fat in it anymore. But it still suppresses my appetite. I'm not hungry. I know I'm getting my brain the fat it needs. So I'm clear thinking. I'm also recovering from the day. People say, how do you do what you do? Don't you get tired? No, not really. I really don't. And I started, I started early and I train hard. I've got lots of things going on. But again, my food fuels my green grass, right? That's really, and I, I want the same thing for you all too. Is this making sense? Am I doing okay? Okay, good. So that's that, right? Another thing for breakfast. How about a breakfast burrito? You want anything? You want a sip of it? You can try and pass it around. You don't have to. Uh, very good. Okay. Oh, okay, good, yeah. Now, if you, I'm glad you brought that up. What if you're not a coffee drinker, Dr. Joe? You can use black tea the same way. You can do green tea, right? It may taste a little weird, but, it's, but the black tea will taste, actually, you might like it. Again, I'm all about getting food into you one way or another. There's a book on Alzheimer's. This medical doctor fed her husband five tablespoons of, of coconut oil every day. And his Alzheimer's went, he, he, his, he came back. Let's just put it that way. And she could tell when he wasn't doing it because he'd go away. And she'd load him back up and he'd come back. So how are you going to get it into your body? Are you going to take a big spoonful and eat it? <laughs> tea or the coffee, right? So you can do a Dr. Joe tea, Dr. Joe coffee. Breakfast. Well, what about a McDonald's Egg McMuffin? Not your friend. But I will tell you that I like my good times breakfast burritos. It's more food than, now would I love to have, I haven't mastered making my own at home yet and freezing them and then heating them back up because we don't like microwaves, stuff like that. But right now we've muscle tested these, these are okay. And I do the egg and cheese. Not every day, once or twice a week I'll have one, but it's, it's more food than what I would normally be or not getting, you know what I'm saying? So the whole goal is next week, can you eat more food this week than you did last week? Because the problem is, it's not that you're doing too much bad stuff. You're not putting in enough good stuff. So I wouldn't, I just, just focus on putting in more good. Call the addition rule. Keep adding more good to what you're doing, right? That's what it's all about. So I, I brought, and again, I don't hide anything. If I'm doing it, I'll teach it, right? If I'm not doing it, I won't teach it. But so I like our breakfast burritos from good times. So far, they seem to be okay, okay? 
Um, so that's breakfast. Now, as far as snacks and stuff go, you know, oh, the other one, my other pet peeve is this Nature Valley salty and sweet granola bars. 100% natural oats. Become Spider-Man. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think in your recipe or on, in our, on our website, there's recipes on how to make your own that I really said is actually food, right? This is not food. This is a chemical experiment made to taste like healthy food, and it's not. It's not. Almond dipped in almond butter coating, bursting with almonds. But it says almonds, then corn syrup. Whole grain oats, sugar, which is more, so there's another sugar. Rice flour, palm kernel oil, that's hydrogenated oils, okay? <laughs> They have many names for the same evilness. So hydrogenated oil can be vegetable oil. It can be uh, palm oil. It can be, you know, canola oil, which is genetically modified, right? Whole grain, I have a bad joke, but I'm not going there, Mrs. Harvey. Vegetable, <laughs> glycerin, honey, roasted almond butter, almonds, honey, maltodextrin, where'd that come from? More palm oil, okay? Whey, fructose, canola oil, salt, soy lecithin, cornstarch, barley malt extract, baking soda, natural flavors, which is MSG, <laughs> vitamin E, added to retain freshness. You know, back in the day, if they wanted to give you MSG, they would just tell you, here, put some MSG right on your steak seasoning. It's right there. Vintage, this is old school, from Astor. By Aster, monosodium glutamate, flavor improver, right here. <laughs> I had a patient pull this out of their, their husband's closet. Here, you want to check this out. Now they just hit it better, right? Because we're too smart for this, right? Okay. But what about now lunch? How about some Velveeta? Rotini and cheese, made from real cheese and milk. 11 grams of protein, whole grain. Creamy cheese sauce with 50% whole grain pasta. Okay, let's see what the truth says. Cheese sauce, whey, cheddar, cheese, milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, milk, whey protein, concentrate, canola oil, ah, sodium phosphate, milk, protein concentrate, less than 2% of salt, lactic acid, sodium alanate, sorbic acid, as a preservative, paprika, okay, got you there, coloring. But it's just, this is not food. And it gets worse. There's just more chemicals, more nutrients they've added to it, right? So it may look like food, but when you put this in your body, your body's like, what the is this? And, you, and you're led to believe that this is better for you. Therefore, you buy it. The reality is it's sabotaging you, okay? Spaghetti, gluten-free, made with corn and rice. But guess how the corn is made? Genetically modified. But it's gluten-free. Your body still doesn't recognize it as what it is. So you eat it, and then you want Ben and Jerry's afterwards. Or you want something else afterwards. You're not satisfied. Right now, are your tummy satisfied? You're not like, I just... Need something a little sweet now. That's all I need. No, you're like, this was good, right? This is good. But then you got Kraft macaroni and cheese. Smile. It's the cheesiest. It is pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> Not as cheesy as my jokes, though. The taste you love. No artificial flavors. No artificial preservatives. No artificial dyes. Original flavor. Macaroni and cheese dinner. The ingredients. Enriched macaroni. They had to enrich it, because it was dead. They tried to enrich it, kind of give it some life, right? Flour, durium flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, iron. Again, they have to add man-made nutrients to it because it's dead food when they overprocessed it. Thiamine mononitrate, vitamin B1. Oh, there you go, riboflavin. B2, folic acid, cheese sauce, mix. There you go, uh, Truman. 
whey, milk fat, milk protein concentrate, salt, sodium, triphosphate, contains less than 2% citric acid, lactic acid, sodium phosphate, calcium phosphate, with paprika. <coughs> oh, hey, turmeric. Okay. And an addo added for color. Enzymes, cheese culture. Is it food? No. So when you eat this, what will your body do with it? It's going to create fat cells. It's going to create arteriosclerosis. It's going to create inflammation. It's going to put drive you into the brown grass zone. Okay. What else we got? Oh, Dr. Joe, I've got same great taste. Made with cage-free whole eggs. Kraft olive oil mayo. Half the fat of regular mayonnaise. This has got to be good, Dr. Joe. Come on, come on. I'd be proud to put this out if you're coming over to my house for dinner. Look what I got, right? Read the back. Water, olive oil, canola oil. Uh, there it is. There's the dog poop. Okay. Vinegar, soybean oil, modified food starch, eggs, sugar. Contains less than 2% of egg yolk, salt, mustard flour, Phosphoric acid, dried onions, natural flavors, paprika again, there you go, beta carotene, potassium sorbate, calcium disodium EDTA to protect flavor. It says ingredient not normally found in mayonnaise. No kidding. It's a, it's a, no kidding. Ingredient not normally found anywhere except a chemical plant, right? But again, what, do, what are you people thinking when they see that? The regular mayonnaise or this, okay? You've been lied to. Wesson, 100% pure natural canola oil. Even has a heart on it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so we think heart, heart. Drink this, good for this. Cook with this, good for this, right? No, it's canola oil, which is a genetically modified food. You put it in your body, you cook with it, it's gonna have an opposite reaction that you're looking to do with your life okay zero trans fats cholesterol free taste of food not the oil they say and it's 100% canola oil so you put it in your body and doesn't know what to do with it and actually makes disease it actually makes disease not make health that's what it does it makes disease in this <clears throat> well dr. Joe what about my then my ketchup because I got reduced sugar. You know, I got to watch out my sugar and sodium intake. 75% less sugar from our natural, from our regular ketchup. So if you pull something out of food, you got to add something back in. And in this case, they added back in sucralose. Sucralose is Splenda, right? And what did I say Splenda started out as? I can't remember the top of my head. A science experiment gone bad of some fertilizer. Fertilizer was, yeah. And you can buy a whole box of Splenda at, at certain stores and use it on everything. It's part of your diabetic, American diabetic eating plan, right? And yet it's, it's actually causing diabetes and brain stuff, not, not fixing it. So this is not your friend. Okay, you got to read the agreement. Oh, but sodium, no salt ketchup. But, in the, but on the back, tomato concentrate made from red ripe tomatoes to sealed water. High fructose corn syrup. Corn syrup. Again, potassium chloride, spice, onion powder, garlic powder, natural flavoring, not in regular ketchup. <laughs> so, and before I, and then long grain rice, okay, long grain rice, ferric phosphate, niacin, thiamine mononitrate, folic acid, not food, has a, Diabetes make it effect, has a hormone imbalance effect, has, has a testosterone killing, estrogen elevating effect when you eat all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We've been talking about bringing it together. And then Cheez-Its, crispy crack per trip with grooves. 100% real cheese, hot spicy cheddar, even in Spanish. <laughs> There's the ingredients right there. So when you're buying food, if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. If you're buying food and it's got more than five or six ingredients, it's not food. Okay? That's the whole point of this. Now, what can I eat then? I'll go there in a minute. But this is, this is causing all the sickness and disease, not just 
I'm not against cheeses. I like cheeses, but we find it. Better. But when you go to the store <coughs> and you buy this stuff and you put it in your body, it has the opposite effect than, than what the wrapper says or what you're looking to do. Can you see why as Americans we're in trouble? And Dr. Arve, if it was bad for us, why would they sell it to us? Different, that's a whole other workshop, okay? Now, let's talk about reality here. I've got a king size milk chocolate Hershey bar. Milk chocolate, cane sugar, chocolate cocoa butter, milk fat, less than soy, natural flavor. But here's the thing one bar is 41 grams of sugar. Now, some of you out there will die if you don't get your chocolate. This is not chocolate. This is something brown that is taste sweet when you taste it. Now, if you really want chocolate, I suggest you get this, the good stuff. 70% cocoa. Ingredients, where are they at? I can't usually circle cocoa bar, cocoa, low cane sugar, cocoa butter, but there's only 11 grams of sugar per serving, so 22 grams total. So this has twice the sugar, no more, yeah, yeah twice the sugar, but there's more here to enjoy. And it's 70% cocoa. Who'd like it? Oh, okay, you raise your hand up first. Who wants it? And there you go. I already have one at home. I, I, no, that's not Mrs. Arby's. I've already, I already had it. So, and again, you want, you want brown rice? Fine, a little bit's okay. If you're trying to really lose weight and get in great shape, rice may not be your friend, right? But again, what's the ingredient? Organic long grain rice. Organic long, there's no other, there's organic long, you know, and you have to cook it. You have to cook it, right? Here's something I do for lunch, or actually Grant or Mrs. Arby makes for me. It's quinoa. Good luck spelling that, right? How do you spell quinoa? Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, K-E-E-N-O-N-E, -E -E, right there, quinoa, no. This is garden medley. You basically put this in, cook it up, it's done in, in, in five, eight minutes, and it's, it's food, right? It's quinoa. Doesn't have quite the sugar effect. It, you know, you can add some vegetables to it. You can add some cucumbers to it. Sometimes I even put Cotty's cheese in it and mix it up, eat it, and I got a meal. And I don't crash after I eat this stuff, okay? So this is another alternative. I like this stuff, right? If you want to make spaghetti, fine. Gluten-free spaghetti. It's a macaroni made with brown rice, quinoa, and aromath. Fine, it's, it's legit. Okay, it's got food in it, right? Our house, we like Annie's. I do, I'm not ever saying don't eat macaroni and cheese. I'm saying this is much more closer to food than that is, okay? And it's got different organic properties in it, and you can read the ingredients that are in it, <coughs> okay? And again, um, what else? The coconut oil, right? Mustard is your friend, right? Very, I mean, it's got organic apple cider vinegar, water, mustard seed, organic turmeric, organic paprika, and organic spices. You can pronounce it, it's good. Put it on whatever your sandwich is, right? They, I don't have it here, there's a, actually a, a purple lid veginase I like that we use in place because I'm from the east, I'm from Michigan. You gotta have your mayonnaise or they kick you out. Like here you gotta eat your salsa, they kick you out, you learn that. You, gotta, you have to have salsa, you have to like avocados and things like that, okay, good, good, okay. What else? Ketchup, because you can pronounce what's in it, okay? Uh, if you want to replace this, what do you drink instead? Coconut water. It has a much better balancing electrolyte healing properties in it, and it's, you can read the ingredients. Be careful now. Now it's a popular thing, and they're trying to, like, like they stuck dextrose in the stevia in the raw. Be careful, make sure you read your ingredients, where it just says 100% coconut water, coconut juice. This is better for you after your workouts than the Gatorade. But be careful, Dr. Joe, because if I drink this, there's too much sweetness in this, and I, I just fall asleep. So my whole goal for you over the next 12 months, not 12 days, 12 months, is figuring out what is food to you and 
helping you devise what food is to you. Not everybody can drink this. I drink too much of it. I, I get sleepy. It has a, a sugar impact on me. It's still sugar. Still co it's coconut, right? It's a, it's a more of a natural product, but your body still will react differently depending on who you are. So just because your friend did this and lost 50 pounds means now you do it, you may gain 50 pounds. All depends on who you are and who they are, okay? I'm calling this right now in June 2017, poor man's kombucha. Some of you out there may argue with me, but just take an ounce of this in a glass, fill it up with water, and drink it. It's wonderful. Ask Jesse. He loves it. Mm -hmm. Can't get enough of it. Yeah. But it also has a, a healing effect inside your body, a, a recharging effect, right? So you want to kind of regenerate from training, getting ready to go, you know. So take a shot of this, put, it, put as much water as you need in it, and drink it down. It never is going to taste good, really. Is it, Jesse? No. Yes. <clears throat> I told him two ounces a day, but he's choking down one. If it's me, I'm here, here, done with it, right? But there's just, this has been around forever. There's just too much goodness in there, right? Another thing I like to do, if you have vegetables and stuff like that and you want to put a little something on it, then the liquid aminos is your friend. It's kind of like a teriyaki kind of taste to it. Have you tried this before? It's, oh, oh, that's good. Sprinkle it on there. I'm not telling you to skimp or to eat just junk or eat, not have fun. Again, because food is a spiritual and emotional and physical experiment. So I want you to actually get used to having good food and having fun. So finding out what actually is food and what you can put on the taste. So we like any of the Bragg's products are safe, right? And another thing with my quinoa, or if you make homemade popcorn, air pop popcorn, you can put some nutritional yeast flakes on it, which is full of B vitamins. What is it? Nutritional yeast flakes? Yeah. And so you can, it has kind of a, um, a nutty, no, you'd say nutty, I'm like cheddar cheese, but depends on who you are. But you can put it on your popcorn. I put it, I sprinkle it on my, my eggs. I'll sprinkle it on my quinoa. Try it. It's just different, different taste, different strokes for different folks, okay? But, it, but it's good, it's good for you, okay? Uh, what else? Olive oil, again, extra virgin, cold pressed is good for salad dressing, okay? We don't cook a whole lot with this because if you heat it too much, anytime you take a really good oil and you cook it, it starts to smoke, you're turning it bad. So avocado oil can be your friend because it has a high heat temperature. Uh, coconut oil can be your friend, but don't go too high. This is lower, less heat, okay? So be careful, but I like putting it on lots of different things. The key, if, I just kind of put it on stuff for taste my salad dressing. So if you want oil and vinegar, mix it with that, okay? Or balsamic vinegar, okay? I like my, what's my treat on Saturday nights? Right here sometimes. It's my treat because again, what's in it? Whole grain wheat, freshness. That's it, with my raw milk. So I eat food. It's food though, okay? And some of you make power shakes with unsweetened almond milk or coconut milk, that's fine, or, or, or raw milk, right, from the, raw, from the farm, right? Uh, what else? I talked about this, okay? If anybody wants to taste this up here. Now, what do I do about that? About, okay, so now we talked about more than five foods. I don't want everyone to see in your shopping cart again. Replacements that you can fill your shopping cart up with. Talk about that. You got the recipes, right? That you can go and try and eat and do and have fun with, okay? Last thing is sugar cravings, okay? What do you do with sugar cravings? Now, I'm usually not into, well, diets or, let's make a commitment. Let's go on a fast. Let's go on a late night snack fast. I know, don't throw stuff at me, right? Uh-huh. So, and again, I'm still on a dream like you. So I have decided, and I don't know for how long, I'm just not doing cookies or brownies or cakes any, for, a, for now, for a while. Why? I don't know why. I just decided I'm not going to do that. Because I've been looking at all my food going, okay, what do I need to... And again, my, my cakes and my cookies were lots of times in the advanced meal. They were, they were paleo. They were homemade. But I'm doing something different. 
So what I'm doing is I will go to the refrigerator and I will grab my Fiji apple. I will grab my, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I'll grab this thing. I love this. This is it right here. This is the bomb. So then I will push it down like this. Okay. And then I got my slices, right? And then I will grab my, keyword, my almond butter. Because Mrs. Aubrey says I double dip. I don't. She says I do. So we have one that has her name written on it. And then there's mine. And I will sit there while they're watching TV, and I will just take this, and I will put a nice good scoop on it, and I'll just eat it. And I will enjoy it more than Ben and Jerry's. Where'd you get it from? That? This? This is from Whole Foods. This is just fresh ground almond butter. You can get it at almost stores, depending on the price. It depends on what you get. This here is, this was $9. I don't care, though. I love it. So I'll eat an apple. Okay, I won't eat now because I have the microphone on. It'll get gross. But this is what I do. And usually one apple satisfies me. Sometimes I'll do two. But usually one's pretty good. So when I had the sugar craving or I want, I'm just not quite yet full from the day, I'm not denying myself. I'm not going to bed hungry. I don't have, and it will, oh, should you eat that close to sleep? It doesn't matter. You're fine. You're not going to have nightmares, okay? Eat, right? But what's happening is that you usually skipped breakfast or didn't have enough fat or protein for breakfast. Now, if you have the Dr. Joe coffee, you're getting enough fat, you're getting a good collagen, you're getting a good protein, so you're not going to necessarily have the sugar craving 12 hours later because that's why you're craving sugar is because you haven't have enough food throughout your day. And your brain's telling you now. So I will fill up on this. Now, what if you hate apples? Fine, chop up celery stalks and do celery until oh. you're content because you're feeding your deficiency, okay? And about two weeks later, you're gonna realize, I'm not craving anymore. And if I want something, this is what I'm gonna have. So what I'm asking you to commit to is no late night desserts, no late night snacking, but instead have almond butter and have this ready to go. 10 o'clock in the morning, no more of this. Nature Valley salt and nutty, right? No more of that, right? Instead, have this ready to go. In the afternoon, Oh, I want some, I'm hungry, have this. I don't care if you do four apples and this a day. Your body needs food. Eventually you'll be like, I don't want any more. That means you've, you've quenched your deficiency and now you're on the road to healing, right? Okay, so do that. So that's one aspect. If you really wanna be cool, with like the cool kids, you can make up what's called Dr. Joe ice cream, right? I have people across the country who you serve this as dessert to their friends, and they're like, they're, so, they're like the cool kids now, that, you know. So here's it is. Because again, why am I craving Ben and Jerry's? Which is a lie, first of all. Because I don't have enough fat or protein that day in my diet. So my sugar craving is actually a warning sign that I'm not eating food. If you eat food, you won't have a sugar craving. Because your body will be chemically balanced because you have food in it. So I take, again, Maybe not as much as I did in my younger years, but I will take, and I usually right now, I, don't, I haven't had the Dr. Food, Dr. Joe ice cream in a long time. But I have the apples and the almond butter now because that's just kind of the season I'm in, right? So I'll take a, a good-sized teaspoon of almond butter, right? That's my protein. I'll take a good size. Now, I usually don't, this is my, I usually don't mix. Mrs. Ari doesn't like that. But I'll take the, almond, the coconut oil, and I'll put that in there. And I take some cocoa nibs. Everybody know what cocoa nibs are? 100% raw cocoa nibs. Now, some of you say, well, this will keep me up at night. Then use blueberries. That's fine too. Or both, blueberries and cocoa nibs. And I sprinkle a little bit on there. And voila. You have now, and you can mix it up. Now, you may say, well, that's not very much. Oh, uh, some of you, I dare you to try to eat this much. <laughs> Anybody make it up and go, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. And don't put it in the refrigerator. It does, it's not good the same day. I don't know why. 
plus it's hard to clean. Now I will put this over there to try, but check it out. And it's like the yummiest. So now when you eat this, you're actually eating food, right? Well, it's 11 o'clock at night. You eat it, and you want, or 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, or 8.30 if it's me, and you, and you go to bed. And you're satisfied, and you're happy. And you actually are nourishing yourself back towards green grass, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Miss Julie, can you come get this for me? Okay. I'll keep my spin. You guys did awesome with the other stuff. Or should I just pass it around? Y'all, no. <laughs> exactly. Pass it. So, all right. So I went over sugar cravings. Fiji apples, green apples. You can do almond butter. Why not peanut butter? Because the way they store peanuts in America, there's these things called mycoplasms, which can get on the fungus. I've read about Valencia peanuts are different. Um, so. Just, if you get the ground peanut butter, that's just peanuts, that's fine too. Almond butter is a better step in the right direction, the way your body treats it as food. So I would say the almond butter, if it's all ground, is more of a food, recognizable by your brain, than peanut butter, okay? Just, but, you know, if you wanna get picky, come in on a Friday Saturday, I'll muscle test you which one you want, or you can do both, okay? So, and again, that's how muscle testing works, because if, again, if I have almond butter in this hand and I have this in this hand, the muscle testing is going to tell me you're going to go strong when I put this on you. You're going to go weak when I put that on you because subconsciously your, body, your brain knows the difference. You may not, right? But your brain knows the difference. That's why we go through all that stuff. And even despite all of this food you're eating, you still may not be getting certain nutrients. Like, like in, the, in the women's and men's multi, one a day, one a day of the vitamin D3 with probiotics and one of the ultimate omegas, that's pretty much a really good start on vitamins. So it's not like taking 50,000 bottles because your brain can't recognize it anyways. So again, we're not, if you got more food in your body, you would spend less at the vitamin store, okay? So now you know what foods not to put in, now you know what foods to put in. Again. Don't call me on Monday and go, I did what you said and I still haven't lost any weight. <laughs> okay. But 30 days from now, some of you could be 10, 15 pounds lighter. You really could be. You start putting food in, you're going to see weird stuff happen to you, like a smile, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. You'll be more fun to hang out with, right? Especially if you drink the apple cider vinegar every day, Jesse. This stuff will really make you pucker up. Okay. So you know now you have a start. You have a start. Some of you are white belts in the, in the karate school of food, right? Well, I just gave you a stripe. You're not black belt yet, that's okay, but at least you got a good place to start, right? We started a good place to start? Okay. Now you know how to feed your sugar craving, okay, with food. Now you have some recipes, so you really have no excuse now to start where you're at. To start where you're at. You have your list of for breakfast, what to do, lunch, what to do, dinners, snacks, desserts, right? You have your healing food shopping list. And like I said, cross off the food you hate on there and circle the food you like and go buy it. It's food, right? And it'll tell you what not to get. When it comes to meat, I like the Corner Post meat company that we use. You order it, they drop it off on one Tuesday of the month. You get clean meat that way, okay? All right. Have we had fun today? Yes. yes. Did, was, this, was this good? Yes. Okay. Because again, I don't always want to have PowerPoints and yelling stuff at you, but I want to create something. Now, we videotaped this, so you can now go back this and watch it every day for the next 30 days. You can get your apples lined up and get your almond butter ready to go. But if you have any more questions, message me, Google me, find me. I'm happy to say, tell your friends, how do I find Dr. Arvey? Just Google Spine Geek. And everything comes up on page one. I was so excited. Facebook, Instagram, our website, it all just, it's right there, right? So bless you guys. Get yourself another hand there. Get some more food. Thanks for coming.